Hey, um, thanks for meeting me. Why am I here? My cousin Lucky, you know the cop? Ah, uh, the stud? Yeah, he doesn't play for the team, does he? No, he's he's married and tragically hetero. <sighs> but listen, he, he keeps me current on the criminal case against Frank Roush. Now, Roush went and got himself a high-powered lawyer, so there's there's not going to be a plea bargain or confession or anything like that. I mean, Frank's really fighting these hate crime charges with everything he's got. What's his defense? That we forced him to bash us? Well, something like that. He's saying that we both came on to him and he was forced to defend himself. Well, he's got a high opinion of himself. The thing is, there were two separate incidences, months apart. I mean, you and I didn't even know each other until afterwards. You make it sound like logic is supposed to mean something. Somebody from the DA's office is going to want to interview you. I thought we should talk and, you know, make sure we hit the same points. I don't think that's a good idea. Legally speaking, you know this is going to go to court. Yeah, of course it will. Well, will you be able to keep your cool on the stand, or do you plan on disappearing into the mist and letting me take all the heat? Look, you don't have to get all over my case. You make it sound like you want to back out of pressing charges. Well, of course I'm going to press charges. The guy nearly killed us. Uh, try to sound a little more committed to the cause. Oh, I'm not going to march in a parade, if that's what you mean. This isn't a cause to me. This is a criminal case. Don't kid yourself, Lucas. Every hate crime is political. Well, give me a break, guy. I may not be a poster boy for gay rights, but I'm trying. You've had time to make peace with who you are. I'm not there yet. So don't trash me if I don't fight for the cause the way you think I should. It's nothing personal. It's just the way I need to handle it. You're right, Lucas. You're right. It's none of my business. You look miserable. Laney canceled our session. Oh, Lucas, why don't you just tell me all your problems and I'll fix you right up. You know what, I think it'll be just fine. Okay. Why well, can't coming out be like a sitcom? You know, 30 minutes of awkwardness and then I get to be the most popular guy in town. With a really cool wardrobe. Yeah. And on next week's episode, I find out the guy I have a crush on is actually gay also. And then the week after that, I get voted class president. That would be ideal. But no. I get beaten up, drug into a lawsuit, and some guy, actually named Guy, says I'm really bad at being gay. Being straight is no picnic either. I mean, look at Georgie and me. <laughs> yeah, Georgie's married to the love of her life, and you're dating, what, Mr. Brooding and Gorgeous? No, 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 there's no way you can compare what Dylan and Georgie have to what Jesse and I have. I mean, Dylan's sworn to love Georgie f until the day that he dies, and I, I can't get Jesse to commit to a Saturday night. It smells like jealousy. I don't want Dylan. You want love. And I don't blame you, you know? I mean, everybody wants what Dylan and Georgie have. You're right. I am jealous. I mean, Georgie's never had to question it. She found her true love on her first try. <laughs>